I shot a music video for one of my good friends, and in this video, I'm gonna break down the inspiration for it, how I shot it, and ultimately show you the finished product. So last week I reached out to my friend Jameson and asked if he would want to make a music video. And it was a win-win for us because I got to go and create and make something and he got a music video out of it. So before filming though, we needed to nail down three things. We needed to figure out the song, an idea for it, and then lastly, a location. So picking the song was simple enough. He chose his song, Let Me Know. And once he let me know that he uh, had a song ready, I began thinking of how we should capture it. The song is an upbeat, groovy song, so I knew I wanted the cuts to be faster. I wanted a good bit of movement to visually help convey that feeling. And the song is also about that long, drawn out feeling of talking to someone who's stringing you along. And, you know, and initially that can kind of feel like you're putting on a performance at the beginning. So I knew I wanted to look like a spotlight was on them. Uh, as if it was a performance. And I wanted to gradually start getting a little bit more tense and frustrating as it went on. Pretty, The whole process of making this music video was pretty quick, so I didn't want it to be so deep and, and so many layers, but you know, I wanted some level of a concept um, and just not you know, going out and shooting with no, no objective or aim. So once I had a loose idea of what I wanted to film and, and how it should look and feel, we just needed a location. And so for picking location, I ultimately just picked a place that looked cool. And so there's a coffee shop in town called Stone Cup Cafe that has a pretty cool vibe upstairs. And uh, I drove over there and asked them if I could use the space, is what they said. Hey, good, how are you? Can I just get a, uh, a coffee for here? Yeah. All right. And then, is there a manager here or somebody that I could talk to about maybe renting out the space or something? And one of my friends is a musician, and I was thinking after y'all close one day, renting the space upstairs <laughs> for filming or something like that. Shoot it to the email? Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, I'll send that over, and then uh, I guess that's my coffee right here. Cool. Well, I'll be in touch with y'all. Thank y'all. And I wanted to include that because I wanted to re emphasize how easy some things actually are to do like we kept saying when we were filming like it's crazy that we just had to ask for this space like so much of like so many things are not that hard uh, if you just ask for it and so we got this really cool space because we asked for it so anyways now that it was actually time to shoot it was time to get everything set up so for our key light i used nothing crazy i had my aperture 300d with a soft box and then put a white sheet in front of that to double diffuse it and get a nice soft key light. Then I threw up some haze in that bad boy. I took my 200D, the Amaran 200D, and shot that in the background looking like it was a spotlight to capture that performance feel I was talking about. And then I took two nan lights because they looked cool and then uh, put one more in the background just to light up the background a little bit. And I was really happy with how it looked and we did about 10 walkthroughs or so and then after about an hour of filming we packed up and uh, I got to editing and you know, this is what we came up with. songs a little loud but baby if you're done for now won't you let me know
sake. You Thank feel good about it? Yeah. Cool. Anyways, this wasn't anything crazy. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, go give my uh, buddy Jameson and his song a listen over on his channel. And uh, yeah, see you next time.